Ready for more of Valentino's flair with fashion? See this amazing dress, the way it's done, the way it's woven. If you can see the colors, the chiffon, the same technique, to the gathering of the chiffon, but it, it, the fabric is put together, gathered, then woven through, and then let go. You can see that it's the same piece of fabric from up to bottom, and the colors of the embroidered uh, torso are of the same coloring matching the chiffon itself. And you see the technique is continuing from one year to another. You can see on this particular dress, it's a very similar gathering here as well, if it's from a collection of 1992. Yes, yes. This is this part of the exhibition is representing fur. And you can see different inspirations, a bit of African, a bit of Oriental. Yes. It's with a dragon print. You see obviously the Oriental influence here. To me, it's definitely influenced by the by the Oriental places, probably Japan. You can see the belt sort of circled around like a like the kimono, kimono or belt, or obi belt, yes. And then he had uh, like dragons or serpents. He always yes. like snakes yes. in his design. Yes. And it's so beautiful. I mean, look at the opening of the uh, dress as well. Perfect. Perfect and Borders. movement is there. Mm. I want this too. I'm used. And this is hand painted uh, um, fabric. You can actually tell it's hand painted when you're up close. Yes. Beautiful. If we are coming closer to the uh, another little uh, representation called the transparencies mm -hmm. and this few of the light color dresses, uh, Pamela Goldman put them together and called them transparencies and you can see uh, what she meant by that. For example, this dress, look, the cutouts where the skin is visible and it's all, I keep emphasizing the same thing, it's all done by the human hand. Split it and yeah. cut and Imagine yes, how they did it. yes, yes. One wrong snip and that's it. Yes, the and you see how the, how perfect the uh, the um, uh, cutouts are. And here the same way you can see a bit of a transparency inside, and especially the best I think representation of the transparency is uh, this particular dress where you can see the back and it's absolutely stunning. You you see the. Just with the beads, yes, it's yes, yes, embroidered with beads and rhinestones. And of course, this dress from this collection is one of my favorite. That has absolutely beautiful feminine look and transparency from the bottom down. Now this was quite recent. This was in in 2007. Yes. Okay, if you've seen the movie The Last Emperor about Mr. Valentino, <laughs> at the first few elements of this movie, uh, he's working actually on this particular dress with the seamstress when the model is wearing it and, and they, they're doing the touch-up, this is a dress. And uh, here it is, we are here at our cover girl. This mm. is the cover girl. This dress actually belongs to Lizard Decorative Museum. They acquired this particular dress. So this girl will go back to Lizard Decorative while everything else will go to the Valentino's archives. And red dress, as I told you just in the beginning of the tour, is the first collection. And the pink dress is his last collection. And you can see the same elements, the beauty, the femininity, the perfection the elegance and we see people from Lizard Decorative Museum mm. who came here especially to install this exhibition. They will come again to put this back the exhibition back into the crates and it, it will be shipped back to archives. And then these dresses will be retired. They will they'll be resting. <laughs> well, we hope you enjoyed your sneak peek into Valentino retrospective past, present and future. And you'd better head down soon because the exhibition will be over on February the 13th.